actually, the, the big debate right now in the market is uh, currently the one of uh, inflation versus, versus recession, right? Um, so we were expecting, obviously, uh, uh, the, the Fed tonight to uh, increase interest rates by another 25 basis points, but then nobody really knows. And the thing is, uh, the outcome of, uh, of this debate will uh, set the path for interest rates in the coming months. Our view is that the, the market is, you know, looks very optimistic right now about the, uh, the, the outcome, which is uh, the market is pricing, uh, is pricing an inflation which is receding and central banks uh, that will be easing to avoid recession. But actually, inflation is sticky. Um, <clears throat> peak inflation has probably passed, uh, not peak rates. Uh, earnings recession is not priced, so it makes us prudent investors. And actually, I would say that um, when you look at uh, what happened in the 70s, when, when you know the last time when there was a lot of inflation, uh, we are often mentioning that uh, the central banks have made a lot of you know monetary policy mistakes at the time. But actually, when you are in the middle of it and when you are stuck between inflation and recession uh, anticipations, it's pretty. You, you, we now realize that it's pretty easy to make policy uh, monetary policy mistakes. So. We cannot exclude those uh, those mistakes anymore. Thomas, as the bank earnings roll in across Europe today and then the wash up of the First Republic story too, the resolution there, big questions around the health of the financial system. You've made a point to us that uh, you know there's a big fixation on inflation versus recession, but you're focused on liquidity. What sort of liquidity problem do you think we've got out there? Yeah, actually, the, the inflation versus recession uh, uh, debate is not the, the real issue for us. Uh, we, we think that uh, uh, we are more worried by the uh, liquidity situation. We think that we are facing a liquidity crisis. I mean, there is, uh, let's face it, we, there is a lot of, uh, of debt in this uh, in this market. And when you look at monetary aggregates like M2, for example, it's decreasing at the fastest pace, uh, uh, pace things, uh, since, the, I would say, the, the, the 30s. Uh, so, um, you know, for us in such an environment, uh, um, the, 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 the right combination is combining uh, local sourcing of deals, benefiting from uh, strong investment expertise and discipline and being a liquidity provider. Uh, we think it's a unique combination to take advantage of this investment opportunity because definitely uh, the, the issue is liquidity. It's not necessarily uh, uh, the debate around, around recession. Thomas, let me, let me ask you about Europe specifically, because um, we've seen the European markets grind higher here. Um, the, the DAX is, uh, is continuing to push to new highs. Um, the CAC is obviously looking strong as well. But how much of it is down to multiple expansion and hope? And how much of it is down to strong, resilient earnings and solid foundations? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a very good point. I mean, for the moment, earnings are, you know, surprisingly resilient. Uh, you know, if you look at banks, for example, they've managed to increase their margins thanks to higher interest rates. Um, so bank is a very important sector in, uh, in Europe. And for the rest of the, of the market, uh, earnings are uh, have been proven resilient. It's probably due to the fact that, uh, you know, those, um, I would say, COVID exceptional measures uh, that are boosting uh, consumptions are still uh, at play. Uh, for how long? That's the, uh, the the big question. But for now, I would say uh, uh, corporates have uh, have been pretty uh, uh, agile in uh, using uh, inflationary pressure to uh, to uh, uh, to actually maintain their margins to increase the uh, their, their, their prices because consumption is still there. Um, now, with uh, with regards to uh, multiple expansion, I would say it's it's very difficult to justify. I mean, the thing is with a uh, higher interest rates. You, the only way you can justify multiple expansion is by anticipating interest rates to go down, um, which is again not not our scenario. Uh, and so again, I think that the you know, the um, uh, earnings um, uh, expectations and the markets uh, as a whole are, are very optimistic about the outcome of uh, the debate between inflation and recession.